Hi. In this video, I will be showing how the question bank works in testing my exam software. So when I click on question bank on the left menu, I will see that I, I will see the, the folders that I already have. For now I have only the I have only one folder having three questions. And when you select a folder, the system lists you the tags that these three questions have. For instance, some questions have the tag level. So if I click on beginner, I will see the questions that have been tagged by level being beginner. I can also uh, ha make multiple selections. For instance, I can say that list me the questions having subject arithmetic and level beginner, for instance. And if I am, I will use the selection very frequently. I can add the selection into my favorites. Like I, I can say. Um, beginner level arithmetic uh, questions when I save this search and let's say that we come back to our question bank again if I click on favorites I will see that I have a new uh, shortcut for a favorite selection if I click on this my my selection will be done for me so that I can access beginner level arithmetic questions very easily. So basically this is how the question bank organize the questions. We, we create some questions, put them into some folder. We are fully flexible um, in the sense that we can write any folder name and we can add multiple tags for each question so that we can filter them uh, very quickly and easily when we when we, we want to access them back so let's let's see that uh, let's see how to add a new question I will be showing you to to I'll be showing how to create a new multiple choice question when I click on this I will show, I will see the multiple choice question editor. So it is actually very easy to understand. Here there is the question uh, text section uh, that we will write our question text, for instance. Uh, which of the, uh, what, let's say, which of the cities below is the capital of France. Okay, we can use the rich text editor here so that we can create a richer content like this. And we can also add some uh, image, video, audio or files into our question. I will not go into details about this, so I will now add some options. Let's say that the first option is Paris and the second one is London <coughs> and the third one, let's say it's New York. Okay, and now I will simply mark, um, I will simply tell the system that Paris is the correct option. Since it is fully correct, I, I leave it like this, meaning that the option is 100% correct. So there are some options uh, that I will mention briefly, but I will also show a quicker way to come up to this point. There is a paste module here. And the way it works is, there is already an example here. You can use this example, but I will create the same question now. Uh, 
I write, I write my question tags and then there is a one blank line and then I again write the options like Paris, London and New York for instance and if I click on paste you will see that uh, I can very quickly come up to this point very easily so you just write your question one blank line and a few options let's add for instance Ankara also okay so the question is almost ready I will only pick the correct one and then I will update some of the settings like if I want the choices to be shuffled for each person who is taking a test I will enable the shuffle choice option and here there is a preview uh, option so that you can preview how the question will look like to the end user and there is also a score preview so for instance what if the user selects New York we immediately see that he will not get any point what if he selects Paris okay the system tells us that he will have a full score of 100 percent okay we can set uh, the number of minimum selection and number of maximum selection here for instance we can enable to user to select for instance at most three options so in the preview section you will see that now the user will be able to select up to three not not the fourth one if we can also make such a uh, selection but we cannot select them all we can also enforce the user to select at least two two options for instance now if I only pick one the, si the system um, warns me that I have to select at least two options so I select like this I can also give some partial points so that uh, if the user selects Paris it is full but if it is Ankara okay it may be half true it is not it's not uh, the case for it's not correct for this question but let's see that this is the case so uh, if the user makes such a selection like New York and Ankara uh, because of New York he will not get any point we can also put some penalty points here by the way um, and but also we we have uh, selected Ankara so we will have a uh, half of the point for this question there is also a threshold like I can say that if the user cannot pass 70% he, he will not get any point so in this setup even though I have selected Ankara which has some points I will not get any point because there is a threshold okay uh, this is basically how the, the multiple choice question uh, editor works uh, we can also add some images uh, audio video or files into our options but this is very straightforward so I don't go into detail detail okay if we want to display the options in in vertical uh, view we can pick the option of uh, direction being column there are some other options but I don't again go into detail let's go to the folder settings so each question uh, will be placed under a folder and we are completely uh, free to write any folder name here but the system tells me the pre previous folder names that I have already created I can put this question under math folder or I can create um, another folder just by typing a name like geography for instance and then I, I will add some tags so the tags are very important uh, in the sense that um, they will uh, help you uh, find those questions back very easily for instance you can say that the level of this question is uh, beginner for instance I will also add another tag like what is what is this um, question about so I can create a tag or I can simply uh, create my own uh, system 
so let's let's say that this system this question belongs to group uh, G100 for instance okay so uh, I think we are also done with scoring so if I save this question now and I browse back to my question bank I will see that there is a new folder geography so if I click on geography I will see only one question if I select the correct tags what are the tags uh, the tags are the ones that I have just uh, added uh, one group if I click group being G100 I will find my question back so this is how the, the question bank uh, systematically puts your question on the folder and tags them so that you can find uh, them easily the way uh, the input question work works is 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 almost the same so I, j I simply write a question uh, like please tell me about your last summer for instance and then I will pick one uh, one type of uh, the answering type like he can the user can answer by writing in a single line in a text area by using a rich text editor so that he can uh, format the, the text and then and then add some uh, image into his response or files attach some files so this is a preview you can you can work on this to understand how how the user is able to respond uh, we can we can allow the user to respond by recording the voice so there are some settings here we can allow the user to record uh, the webcam video to respond to the question we can uh, provide a code editor so that the user responds to this question by writing code in you can you should pick the correct uh, script or language here and the, the last option is that the user can respond by uploading a file so this is a preview how he will see the question so once the, you you write your uh, you edit your question I will leave it like text area for this so for each answer input time there are some options uh, you can check and uh, see how it works on the preview and now I move to the folder and I will say for instance here um, like the folder being general and I will tag like um, use case is uh, recruitment for instance if I save this and I go to my question bank I will see that now there is an, a new folder being general and there is only one question so if I click on the folder I will see that there is a tag use case and there is only one question having a tag use case with a value of recruitment and this is the question we have just created okay so we, we went over uh, we walked over the question bank we added a few questions and I explained how the question bank works in terms of uh, using folders and tags and this will be very helpful for 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 creating tests easily thank you very much